Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm naked faced. What does that mean? Of course it means a foundation review. Today I'm reviewing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I recently picked this up from Ulta. Heard a lot of hype about it and I had to try it. Um, it's been out for a while, so um, I've heard a lot of reviews and you've probably seen a lot of reviews already. I just kind of wanted to give you my take on it. Um, I have the shade Snow and even though I'm kind of tan right now, um, my neck is still pretty pale and the lady at Ulta who was helping me, who color matched me, said that even though this is the lightest shade, it would still match me pretty well, match my neck. So it covers up my tan and it matches a little bit. Um, I love that it has a pump. I'm a sucker for a foundation with a pump. So I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand. And it's very thick too. You really do not need a lot. This is going to cover my whole face and then maybe I'll pump a little more if I need an extra application. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to start dotting it all over my face. Now a little bit about this foundation here. I've been using it for about a week now and actually about two weeks after you see this video. So I have definitely been using it and putting it through the test and I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge I'm just going to start pressing it into the skin. Yes, it looks <laughs> very, very light, but trust me, it matches my neck pretty well. And I like the coverage it gets. You can see it's covering my darkness around my eyes pretty well, because I am a sufferer of really, really bad dark circles. This, like I said, this foundation is very thick. It's a very medium to full coverage depending on how much you apply and how you apply it. I like applying it with a beauty sponge because it helps sheer it out quite a bit. Um, if you were to apply it with your fingers or with a brush you would be getting a much heavier coverage. And yeah it looks a little light but you can see it matches my neck pretty well. This will match even better in the fall I think. I gotta get around my hairline. Now, this foundation is recommended pretty much for all skin types. I was a little worried when it said full coverage because I was like, oh great, it's going to be super heavy and it's going to be a matte finish and it's more suited for like normal to oily skin, thinking it's not going to look good with my, I thought it might not work well with my really dry skin. I would, I kind of expected it to cling to dry patches. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little bit more on my cheeks just to cover up that redness I've got going on. This is a buildable coverage which I like because there are certain points in my face that I do need to put a little more coverage like on my cheeks. Um, so you can build this up depending on what your skin needs are. Um, so anyway, I kind of thought that, um, so when I first was looking into buying this, I heard it was really great for people with combo to oily skin and normal skin because it's thicker and it'll stay in place more. Um, it's got kind of a mattifying effect as well. However, so I was like, oh, with my dry skin, it's going to look really bad. Something I noticed with this, I'm not somebody who gets oily. I'm not somebody whose foundation wears off. This tends to wear off on me and sink into my pores. It sinks into my pores right here around my nose really, really bad at the end of the day. I noticed it. And I get shiny with it. Like, I get shiny here in my forehead around my hairline and, again, right where it sinks into my pores down here. I was not expecting that. I was like, okay, I have dry skin. It's going to cling to my dry patches. And it does. It clings to my dry patches right here on my chin. And the way I battle that is I just put on some setting spray and that'll help a little bit. But like I said, it just sinks in really bad around my pores and it gets really shiny on my forehead. One thing I also did notice is this foundation, I don't know if it's just 
it wearing away, but I notice it oxidizes and gets darker on my skin. So I don't know if it's just wearing away and my skin tone, my natural skin color is coming through or if it's just gets darker naturally. I haven't heard anybody else have that problem, so it might just be wearing away on me. Okay, so I have applied it all. As you can see, it covered quite a bit. My dark circles around my eyes are substantially better. It covered the acne that I've got going on on my chin, um, and it covered up the redness on my face pretty well. So, so I wanted to give my final thoughts on this. The wear time for me is not very good. I started noticing it sinking into my pores around the six hour mark and I noticed the shininess around the five hour mark. Something I've never experienced with a foundation bore. Something I've never really noticed with a foundation before, especially with one that's more matte than anything because I kind of thought it would clean my dry patches and dry my skin out, but it actually made me shiny, which if this made me shiny, I would hate to think what it's gonna do to an oily skin girl. It's especially when the foundation says it's oil free, which just, it blows my mind. I'm very happy with the coverage I get and um, how easily it, it is to blend in, even though, like I said, I have a lighter shade, it's really easy to blend in and make it look natural. Um, I hate that it oxidizes. I don't know if I just got like a weird bottle or what. I'm not entirely sure. If you've had that problem, leave a comment below telling me if you experienced any oxidization. Um, I don't know if I would buy this again, to be honest. It was kind of pricey. Uh, I think it was either it was either $39 or $49. I can't remember which off the top of my head. I was kind of expecting to just really like this foundation because everybody was buzzing about it. But my expectations just kind of fell flat because I was totally wrong about this foundation. It's not my favorite. I will continue to use it. Um, but I just, I am not a big fan. That's just my honest opinion. If you've tried this foundation, let us know what you thought of it. Maybe you have a different opinion than I do. Any questions, please leave them in a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. I hope you all have a great day. Uh, be sure to thumbs this up if you like foundation reviews. I like to review foundations if you haven't noticed. Um, and be sure to subscribe up here so you do not miss another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys!